Hi, I'm uh, Ben Laverty, Dr. Ben Laverty, California Safety Trading Corporation. I was born in Taft here in Kern County, California, and was raised in Shafter, California, uh, just at the end of World War II. I've not always been a safety trainer. I have uh, been a farmer at one time. I farmed for 18 years and was an international uh, agricultural consultant for another five years working in several countries. And um, uh, one day the farmers asked me to be uh, teach them safety. So I looked at it and tried it and tried to help them. That's my nature. And I loved it and 33 years ago changed what I did. Well, I've, for some reason, I'm very, very good with reading regulations and sorting out what is and required and what isn't required. So I think that that's an advantage that comes with me. Um, I have the ability to make people very, very comfortable, and I enjoy challenges, of which my best challenges, when everybody else gives up on somebody and training them, I like to go and give it a shot and and train them my way and, and it works, has worked very, very well. Every day I read regulations, every day I have somebody bring me a new Cal OSHA problem, every day they change the regulations, so it's a constant uh, um, research and uh, analysis of what changes are required, so I do that. Additionally, I am a certified safety professional and have been for years. I continue to keep that designation up that also helps me to be a better safety person. I'm also a fellow with the American College of Forensics Examiners, so I spend time in the field doing investigations from a forensic standpoint. This is not debate. This, this is not CSI, like criminal scene investigation. This is civil scene investigation, although I do testify at some uh, court cases. My most often class would probably be pesticides, also my most enjoyable. Um, I like the challenge of the chemistry of pesticides and the uh, desire to convince people that the pesticides are certainly require respect no matter whether they're danger warning or caution category one two or three everything requires respect who i've had quite a few but i'll uh, go back and say that at one time i did consulting work for a large oil company and uh, they were making a movie over on uh, the coast i was the host and brought people from New York into the sand dunes by letting the air out of the tires on the Jeep and built a camp for them and cooked for them and the like. And uh, that was a 48 hour run. I got about two hours of sleep and then drove back to Kern County to, to make an appointment with a uh, farmer out on the west side and did a pesticide class. And every break and every lunch I lay down and got a quick 10 minute or 25 minute uh, nap. It was kind of like the extreme side of what a person would do from a safety trainer side. Respect yourself, respect your gut. If you're in a situation where your gut's telling you that something is wrong, time out step back, take a look at it, and even if you get somebody else to take a look at it with you, I guarantee you there's something wrong, and you'll be lucky if you make it out. Well, I just got, came back from vacation. I spent 31 days uh, out of the country, visited eight different countries, and uh, we enjoyed that immensely. My most 
just flat enjoyable peacetime is spent up at the mountain house at 6,000 feet and uh, where nature's there and the birds are there, the, the scrub jays and the squirrels are, I usually feed them and, and the, my three little dogs like to challenge them, although we keep them in a fence and uh, I enjoy that very much. Well, uh, probably have two. One is that many, many people don't know that I'm an auctioneer. Uh, in the past, I have been an auctioneer for many of the benefits, whether it be uh, Links for Life or California Animal Living Museum or Cancer Society, doesn't matter. Uh, I've done that for years for free. Um, I, and from that, uh, that came from being able to sing the auctioneer song that was done by Leroy Van Dyke in 1952. Um, for some reason I can sing and play things that people would not know. I play the harmonica, the Irish tin whistle, uh, the 16 and tw six, six string and 12 string guitar. And um, uh, I like to sing with people, not for people. A lot better. Many people don't know that, because I'm older, I'm 73, but I was a professional athlete. I was a 10.2 yard halfback in Shafter High, a uh, couple of championship teams at Bakersfield College, on to BYU for a, the first championship team in the history of their uh, uh, school, and then went on to play for Calgary Alberta Stampeders, and I punted. My longest punt was 79 yards, and then in Calgary was 72 yards. So I don't know that that's might say a past talent. I'm not sure I could do that today. I'd like to tell everybody and encourage everybody to follow the regulations, do what they should do, don't try to cut corners because the uh, penalties, the citations, are many more citations. In addition, what was in the early days 5,000 or 7,000 now could be 25,000 and a repeat or a willful violation can be up to 130,000 for each one of those willful or repeat violations. Uh, they, we've been encouraged with our progress but it seems that the government wants to encourage us more with higher penalties.